Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shakisha Sims of Her Lovely Plan and I'm back here on my channel <laughs> with another planner related video this week i am planning in my classic size happy planner it is a vertical planner now i have not been in this planner in a couple of weeks um and it's okay life happens sometimes you can't get in each and every one of your planners my advice is if you can't jump into all the planners if you have multiple at least make sure you get into your edc or your catch-all whatever you want to call it um but any of the i call them like sub planners if you don't get in those it's fine it's no big deal don't beat yourself up about it but this week i'm going to go ahead and plan and this is valentine's week and as everyone know i do use this for my business planner so i am going to still have it business related but i'm going to zhuzh it up you know because it is love week so if you want to see how i set this planner up stick around So I'm going straight in for the washi. I'm going to go into washi somewhat overload on this spread because as y'all know, I have just been loving planning in my TN. I've been using lots of washi. So I figured I would bring a little bit of that washi vibe over to my classic happy planner. Um, so I haven't, like I said, I haven't planned in my classic in a minute. So I was kind of feeling a little rusty. It's kind of like, you know, how you work out, you go hard. And then after two weeks of not working out, it's kind of hard to jump straight back in. That's how I was kind of feeling in the beginning of, um, filming and planning this spread. Um, but nevertheless, you know, my creative juices were flowing and you can see that with this heart, I decided to cut it in half and line it up so it can be on both sides of the spread. And it basically just says work hard, work harder or something like that. No, work hard, play hard. Um, so, you know, I thought that was really cute, something different to do. Um, so now all I'm doing is just adding these little um, triangles at the bottom. Um, this is where I track my income because I do get paid daily as a hairstylist. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now.
Now, I'm about to pull up this sticker. I had a little bit of difficulties. However, one thing that I will say that I do like about Happy Planners and stickers, they do peel up a lot better because of the paper quality. Um, with Traveler's Notebooks, because either we're printing them ourselves or depending on the paper that the um, shop printed on, sometimes it makes it hard to pull those stickers up once you lay them down. So either you have to commit to where you have placed it or use undo. Um, and I've used undo a couple of times. I'm still trying to get used to um, using it on my spreads, but it actually works out pretty well. Um, so as you're seeing now, I'm just laying more stickers throughout some functional stickers and I will pull up this um, make it happen sticker um, a little bit later. Um, and again, you can just see how easily the sticker peels off the page. So that's one of the perks of planning in your happy planner. When you make a mistake or mislay your stickers or washi, it'll just come straight up with no issue. So I was excited that I had the opportunity to be able to pull out this sticker book again. Um, this is actually um, an Agenda 52 sticker book that I got from Hobby Lobby. And all the foiling is rose gold in that sticker book. I mean, that sticker book is so beautiful to me. I don't know why I stopped using it. But again, 2019, what did we say? No more hoarding. So I'm going to try to use as much of my stickers as possible i would love to actually use a whole sticker book that is my goal before the summer is to finish up one whole sticker book and say that i have successfully gotten rid of my hoarding ways <laughs> so right now i'm just finishing up just adding some final touches um with this section where i keep my um daily income from the salon.
and finish my spread in my classic happy planner and as you can see I stuck with a very rosy colored spread um, since the spread was already pink I figured to play off of those colors and use a lot of rose gold I used a lot of different stickers I went back to one of my favorite sticker books that I first started using and this was the choose happy um, and this has some really beautiful color stickers and foiling and things like that um, so I was like let me use those stickers um, so again this is my business planner so I don't really write a whole lot I just like to keep my business separate from everything else um, so as you can see as I've been doing um, since I started using it specifically just for my business I have my um, space where I will put what I earn each day because I'm a stylist I get paid daily and I do work Wednesday through Saturday in the salon so that way each day I can keep a track of what I earn and then at the end of the week I'll put what my total income was and that's just a way for me to also track for tax purposes and things like that um, typically because I work later in the week there's really not a lot of plans to write down other than to remind myself to purchase things for my distributors. Um, if I need to make any changes in my appointment schedules and things like that. The beginning of the week is where I have most of my stuff that I do for my business. Like updating my website, posting any specials, posting photos on my Instagram page. Um, and just in regards to just following up with anything on the um, admin side say to speak so the left side is typically like my admin side and the right side is just more of the things that I need to do in salon um, so I did leave the check it off section how it was because I do have a few things that I want to check off and then what I don't want to forget because I want to make sure that um, I contact the salon owner about something for next week so I definitely don't want to forget that and that's pretty much it um like i said i just wanted to really kind of have fun with this spread because this is a very busy work week but a non i guess you could say like planner week is not a lot of things that i need to plan on this side of the week so anyway with all that being said this is my spread um i really like it um, like I said, I got a whole lot going on. I really like this brown over here and these stickers with the rose gold dots. Um, and the washi that I use, that's the one thing about rose gold. Some rose gold is rosier, some is more golden. But nevertheless, they're still in the same family. So it went down on the page. <laughs> so you guys, if you like this spread, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you would like me to do um, something different in my business planner, if, um, just drop a comment. In, comments, not a comment. In, <laughs> drop me a comment in the box below. Because um, I always want to try different things because I never want to get boxed into doing the same thing all the time. Um, so definitely drop me a comment. Um, if you haven't already done so by now, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll never miss a live stream or a new video and as well go through that description box i'm gonna keep saying it because i've been getting messages saying you be enabling me you be making me spend my money and i'll be trying to put some codes down there for y'all to save a little bit you know what i'm saying so i'll be trying to look out for y'all y'all my peeps but with that being said if this spread has inspired you make sure you share this with your part um, planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plans so until next time planner fam peace thank you again for watching her lovely plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.